M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the ICOM 7300. The default waterfall that you can see here is quite a white screen here with a grey background and then your, your classic blue. So I change mine, what you do, now look, well you can expand it remember and you can also add, if you go menu, audio, you can add your oscilloscope as well. And if you press and hold scope you can have both, but that's that one there, but anyway. Uh, we're going to change the colour. So just to get the scope, just press scope like so. Press and hold EXPD set. And you go into the, the settings, the scope settings. At the top, leave the on to on. Then go down to max hold and just turn that to off. Okay, on, off. Then go down to the next one and select and choose the bottom one. Okay, carrier point center ABS. Next one down, you can leave that, then go turning again to the next page, VBW. Leave that at narrow, but we're going to turn on averaging. A lot of people talk about averaging. It sort of samples the, the I don't know, the frequency uh, over a certain amount of period, and then just, also, I think it sort of averages it out and slows it down a bit, so it's more, not so flickery, if you know what I mean. But anyway, averaging three, and it's on the new FTX1. Waveform type, we're going to tap and go fill in line. Waveform color, we're actually going to select black on this, so just go to all of them and turn them off. But you can, you know, you can do what you like, but we select black. On this one, the waveform color, we're going to tap and we're actually going to select green. There you are, so you turn the, the top and bottom and then just turn the green for oh, back. Waveform max hold, we're going to do black, a black line again, and you'll see why when it's working. Uh, so tap this, and then all black. And you can do this on the 705, on the 7610, 7, you know, whichever model you've got. Waterfall display on, waterfall speed mid, but you can change that if you want. Scrolling down, and then the grid, we're going to choose grid 3. Okay, there you go. And... Waterfall marker, auto high gel, we'll leave that on, and fixed edges, we'll leave that as it is. So that's it. So now when we back out, and of course, I mean, there's other people that have made videos on how they like to set their one, okay? Uh, but this is the one that I feel is, is the one I like. Now, the conditions at the moment <laughs> this morning aren't great, so we're not being able to test it how I would like. But let's just go to... Press and hold, is it? Oh no, data there is there. Yeah, not much there. Let's try 40. And remember, when it's a bit hot, you can make sure that there's no preamp on or anything. That will help it if it's off. But you can also, to if you, well, you can pull the, the RF game back a bit. That does help. I don't like to pull it back too far. And of course, noise reduction for the, your ears. But if you press 2 and then go to reflect, REF, and it's like a waterfall gain, you can go back and then you can really see those signals there. You have to tap it to get rid of it. And as you can see, something today, is, this morning, is wiping it out. It'll come good later. It always does every day. Which is a shame because you can't see the trickly effect that you get on those weaker signals. Um, and then, of course, you can expand like so and the span we're spanning two is it 250k so you go press that so it's number one look span and then now we're spanning let's have a look 500k and you can see the signals there are quite low down tap the middle you go faster and yeah so interesting eh what a shame it's just rubbish isn't it let's try 40 uh 80. And you have to adjust the gain every time you change band. It's, it's just different. So yeah, completely wiped out this morning. Oh my God, what a mess. Otherwise, what a fantastic radio. You can see the colors actually. When I did that, you could see the colors coming in, see? And they will show in the waterfall. So give it a go, try this out, see what you think of those settings. Bye for now, all the best.